Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Today we're going to be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage of season 12 of. Now, let's just say, power goes out. You wanna get freaky, but you've got mm, about three to four inches of growth down there. It looked crazy. It so looks crazy. You look like this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I use the Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0 with an LED light. Yes! Raja, where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, oh there see. you are. Uh, get 20% off plus Free shipping from your Perfect Package 3.0 purchase when you use the promo code TOOT at manscaped.com. Oh my God, it actually took some time. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot of it. It's a shaver. <laughs> Today's theme is red. The color purple. <laughs> the, color the color purple. purple. Because Whoopi Goldberg, legendary mm -hmm. actress, comedian, She's now got her own CBD line. Mm -hmm. Whoopi Goldberg was there finally mm. as a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. It's great that she mm -hmm. finally made it to judge. And a f what better theme for a main stage with Whoopi Goldberg being there than the color purple? Well, the color purple, as uh, most people know, is the color of royalty. So yeah. let's see if there are some actual f***ing queens up in here that can show their royal highness. Or their royal high knee. Hey! Category is... The color purple. First up, Jackie Cox. Jackie Cox. She is the one-eyed, one-tongued, one-tongued, fuzzy-fingered, polka-dotted, purple people eater. Purple people blah, blah, blah. Purple people eater. Does the polka dots go in there somewhere? No. Okay, I just added that. That's fine. I have a very, very special feeling for anything that's sort of cyclops and one eye, as you know. Anytime there's an eyeball involved in anything, I really, really respond to it. So this, to me, is a very cute look. Jackie Cox has um, brought her, like, campness that I liked about her from the beginning of the competition back yeah. for me. Because that last that last one, the, the, the makeover, was... Uh, the last couple. Yeah, basic. I love that huge pile of hair on top of her head. Mm -hmm. And then it's just standing, it's kind of bright of Frankenstein-ish. Mm -hmm. um, and I, it kind of looks like corn too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why not? So she's a corny monster. There's something that I really love about this stage in the girls' careers, because a lot of the things that they are wearing are things that are possibly made by themselves oh and have God. a roughness and a rawness to it that I still, still enjoy. Because I think after a while, a lot of us tend to want to go to the people who make the for us. Yeah. And then there, I just like to see the queen who puts it together. I don't know. There's something really cool about it. I like it. I give it a toot. Toot. Mm -hmm. I agree. Toot. Next we have Crystal Method. I love this. This is exactly what I meant from Jackie's outfit. It's this like feeling of specialness in what you're wearing because you put your own effort and pride into it. I love this. There's something that feels very like where the wild things are. It also kind of feels like The Wiz. The Wiz. And The Wiz has that kind of theme to it. Where yeah. Trash and garbage all kind of piled onto each other to make a look. Which in today's day and age, I think we really should start thinking about sustainability and the fact that clothing is the number two pollutant in the world. And to be this The number one? Raja. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to recycle and be responsible about your drag and, and also look cool doing it. So this for me is a success. I love this look. And I think this is a very adorable and cool look and Crystal Method is winning my heart. I'm kind of into this. I give it a two. Two. Mm -hmm. Next, we bring to the stage Heidi in the closet. This is, it's very, very, very basic. Yeah. This outfit was hiding, hiding in the back of the closet, and it's a gorgeous outfit, but it is say. not, yeah, it just, it's just not. I'd say more accessories could judge this look. I'd say more, the, more purple, more purple hair, purple, just yeah. things to Purple add hair, purple. purple jewelry, purple lipstick, purple eyeshadow, purple nails, purple, like. You know, she looks beautiful. Uh, yeah, she The makeup does. is done right, the hair is fine, but it's just like, okay. hmm. It's a boot. Okay. You look boot. pretty, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's a, boot. a boot. Sorry. Not, not, yeah. Next we have Gigi Good. I love 
love it. Bitch, that's Daphne. Zoig! <laughs> Jankies! <gasps> I like it. Okay. I don't I don't I don't love it, but mm. I like it. I it's a it. cute reference. It's a fun reference. Mm -hmm. Now, I do think there's still also a lot of green. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think there's the same amount of green as there is purple. Oh. Uh, it's still a great garment, but it's not to me, it does, when I look at it, I don't go purple. It's something that's that was thought out. It's like, oh, you know, Scooby-Doo, Daphne wears a purple dress. Oh, yeah. It's a two. Two. Next we have Jada Essence Hall. Hall. Jada Essence Hall. Yes. I love this. Gorgessa Marie Fontaine de la Croix of the House of Fierceness Hall Essence of the Realness Goddess. That's all I have to say. I take it that's a toot? That's a toot! Okay, yeah. I love everything about this. I love the draping of mm -hmm. the fabric that comes over and joins at the side. Mm -hmm. I love the shoulders. I love the skirt, the boot, the pant leg. Uh, just, uh, mm -hmm. There's nothing I do not like about it. What I love about Jada Essence Hall, and especially in this look, is the fact that Jada, her knowledge of drag is very much there's a pageantry to it, mm -hmm. but there's also something very young and modern to what she does. But still pays homage to. But then, yeah, it's still there. It's still yep. that aesthetic, it's that beauty. It's like, I am a gorgeous woman. Ka -ka cow, meow, meow, meow. And I love this look. She gets a, I, I have nothing bad to say. Nothing. I'm trying. It, it, it I'm kind really of trying. reminds me of Star Trek. Mm. Do you remember that? Maybe no hair and just some sort of wrap with that Ooh. hat on top. But I mean, there, it's really hard to try. And it's, you can't it's, come for her. That's a you two. cannot. That is a two. I love it. Love it. Love it. Chandler monster. Yes. Yes. Little yes. monster. <laughs> oh my god. How old is it again? Our, Our top, top two of the week is Crystal Method! Living! Meow, 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 meow! Kitty cat, 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 cow! Meow! Kitty cat, 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 meow! See who makes the top four when you tune in next Friday, VH1, and catch an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 12. And if VH1 is not available in your country, check out the link below to see if you can watch RuPaul's Drag Race wherever you are.